Hey, welcome back to your channel. Today we've got an 05 Mustang here. We're going to be changing the cooling out. And yes, it is a V6. What you need is your coolant. I got some coolant cleaner, two bottles of it, some distilled water. And I believe the only thing you're going to need for a tool wise is a 19, you a deep socket, but it's 19 millimeter socket. Okay, so the first thing you want to do. You take out the keys at the ignition. The other thing you want for you not to have any coolant or anything you're working on, you might have oil change or something like that. You don't want anybody to come and crank your car up, ready to do it on purpose, to do it for a joke or whatever. You don't want that to happen. So take the keys out. You don't gotta worry about that happening. You see, we got a drain, drain pack. So, so we, when we drain it, I got, I'm on dirt, so I got plastic and I don't trust jacks. So I got uh, car ramps. So you gotta come to your drain, your little drain, I think called a pet cock, something like that. But this right here is your radiator right here. So this right here, what you're gonna be using to drain it. And I also might add, you also wanna go to your reservoir to unscrew the top so that way it drain a lot faster. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. And also you wanna use your 19, yeah, your 19 socket to unscrew this. You can see that right there is draining, and then what I mean, you want to come up here to your reservoir to loosen the cap so that way it'll drain a lot faster. Okay, so you can see we got our bolt back in, and you probably might need, I probably could get away with just one, but you might need two, so there's a mouth for that. So now what it's time to do is to pour out cleaner and some distilled water in here. And this will also get tricky. I was looking for a long, long time, and I could not find a bleeder. To bleed all you know all the air out the system so i got my you know i got the car jacked when i jacked up it lift up air bubbles usually travel to the highest point of the cooling system or the highest point of you know the system so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pour it fill it all the way up and i'm just gonna squeeze around the hose or whatever to get all the air bubbles moving to hopefully come back to here and burp itself out Okay, so you see we got it filled up and basically what you want to do is go to your hose right here. You got one right here and you got one at the bottom right there, like right there. So what you want to do is kind of just squeeze them. I've been doing it for a while. And you just want to keep on doing it until you really don't see no bubbles no more. Does that mean you got no air in the system? And they just keep on doing it right there until you don't hear that gargling no more. Okay, so I've been letting it run for about 10 minutes. I'm probably gonna let it go for 15. I've been squeezing the holes and you see really no bubbles. I blew all the air bubbles out. I've been letting it run, like I said, and I think the temperature gauge is pretty much halfway. So what I might do to let that stuff kind of just sit in there and really do a job cleaning is I'm gonna let it kind of sit overnight, put some more clean off in there and let it sit overnight. And probably tomorrow, I hopefully it don't rain and I'm gonna drain it and just do it like that. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day. So now all we're gonna do now, we're gonna drain it, see how the um, how clear it is. <clears throat> if it's clear, then pretty much you really don't have to do anything. You can fill up with coolant. Basically, just want to get close to clear like water if possible. But we're gonna empty it, we're gonna see where she at. And if we need to do it again, we'll do it again. So, and by the way, if you wanted to clean this right here, like the inside of it, all you had to do is just two bolts right here one, two, and you got a clamp right there you have to remove, and you got one right there. Let me see how I'm pointing at it. Yeah, right there. A little screw right there. Just how to do it. Then this right here basically just pops her on off. You can just do it like that, but only if you want to. So you see, we got a little phone because I added a lot of that cleaning stuff in there. So maybe that's the phone doing the job cleaning. And you see, it's not nearly um, clear. So you might have to do this right here at least twice. But like I said, it's really the same process. Okay, so we're on our second flush. So keep in mind, uh, I forgot to mention, the reason why you want your air to be on, not your air, your heater to be on full blast so the coolant can kind of go through your um, the heater core. 
and clean it out real good. So that way you don't have any blockage or anything like that when you go to use the heat. So um, by the way, how many times you want to flush it gonna depend on how many um, things of water you need. I only bought two. I don't know what I was thinking. But if you want to flush it three times, you're gonna need at least two of those to put back into the um, the cooling system every time you flush it. So if you're gonna do it three times, you're gonna need six of those. And I also got the full concentrated kind. So I'm basically gonna be mixing it 50-50 with -50 with water. So that basically that basically two of them right there. But if you get the 50-50, you're going to need to buy two. So just keep that in mind. Just keep it from going back and forth to the AutoZone store, AutoPod store, wherever you go. Okay, so we did a total of five flushes. Two of them is in that red jug right there. But these right here, the one y'all can see. You can see that was the first one. That was the third one. Yeah, I think the two. Yeah, the two and four is in that one and that's the last one so you can see pretty big difference so now all we gotta do now is fill up with coolant i got full concentrated i got some more still water basically what i'm gonna do since i don't got like a container to mix both of them pour half of that in there first come behind it with half of that and just keep on doing it right there until it's full you know that's what i'm doing at least okay so what we using is full country like i said pressed on said good for 10 yeah, 10 years 300,000 miles and honestly you have to take that with a grain of salt because I mean honestly don't nothing last 10 years anymore but this right here in universal coolant so it's safe to use for any color any vehicle so that what I got and plus this old vehicle so you ain't gonna be able to find this right here for a Pacific model okay so I'm assuming that you got the drain your drain plug back in and by the way this right here is really handy because really you don't have to even get up under you just do it with your hand but i got it in there okay so we filled up our coolant we used up all this right here this right here's a gallon and this right here's a gallon and we filled it up and these pretty much the big three i have to use them right there you really can't see in there so i'm using these so you can see we went from that to that right there so clear mostly a little greenish but we got universal coolant, so the color red not gonna matter. So now what you'll do, you just crank the car up. Um, yeah, crank it up. I wouldn't go anywhere, have it in one spot. Have the heat full blast, keep it out on the temperature. If your gauge start to get a little, you know, hot, you more like it just got an air bowl trapped somewhere. So no big deal, so yeah, bleed out the system. But that pretty much all there is to it. It took a little bit longer to film, so I would definitely appreciate if you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I do videos like this, do a lot of full content, um, trucks, and stuff like that right there. So I love for y'all be a part of my YouTube journey. And yeah, I just take it easy and hopefully see y'all in the next one.